our Bruxer with severely worn teeth was used for a number of different displays of total jaw movement. Included was the opportunity to study lateral joint stability or Bennett movement. Some dentists have doubted that Bennett movement exists, especially during chewing, while others have strived to precisely record and reproduce it in articulator. A selected border movement plot of this subject was copied onto a clear acetate sheet and suspended in the horizontal plane over the metal condyle. The condyle movements while chewing carrots are reproduced from the recorded data. This subject's occlusion was restored without changing the steepness of the cusps, thereby reproducing a pattern similar to the original worn-out occlusion, which meant the pre- and post-operative chewing were virtually the same. A mandible mounted in the replicator using the subject's previously measured coordinates provided an excellent frontal view of lateral condylar displacement during chewing as measured by a millimeter ruler. It has been termed the immediate side shift component of Bennett movement. Here is a direct close-up view of the plotter drawing in the horizontal plane this subject's non-working side condyle movements. In another display of horizontal plane movement, some selections from a previously recorded working side condyle chewing plot are superimposed over the top of the condyle of a mandible mounted in the replicator. The mandible is being moved by this subject's chewing data. This is the non-working movement, meaning the subject is now chewing on the opposite side. The grid is made up with two millimeter size squares. The articulator mounted in the replicator demonstrates movement of its lower member while being driven by the chewing data. The Bennett movement component is seen taking place in the retruded part of these working side chewing cycles. <laughs>